Welcome to TaxSell Insiders, the latest from TaxSell Resources, bringing you information about tax sales from experts in the industry. TSR has interviewed a variety of industry leaders across the country, including Stephen Morell of Juristeed in Louisiana, Maureen Zink of Carlisle Law in Ohio, John Stanko of Stanko McCarthy Law Group in Illinois, and many, many more. The following is just a small snippet of a longer, in-depth interview with one of these leading industry experts. We brought back William Hereford, partner at Burr and Foreman based in Birmingham, Alabama. Will was pushed into taxing law in the late 90s, figuring out what to do with those unredeemed lien portfolios, and he hasn't looked back since. In this, his second interview, William shares the ins and outs of how to invest in the state-owned DOR properties. It's great information, so stay tuned. But really what stuck out to me, uh, Will, was really the first paragraph basically stating you know, in, in 2005, there were, you know, just under 8,600, you know, state-owned parcels, and that number jumped up to over 38,000 state-owned parcels in 2017. Um, so, I'd, I mean, I'd say that there's several, it's definitely a, a problem um, trending, trending in the wrong direction. So, I guess, can you give us a little background of kind of, like, how, how, how did we get there? How, did, how do parcels end up being state-owned, and why are there so many, I guess, in, in your opinion? So under Alabama's <clears throat> tax sale system, uh, the, every year counties put these properties, their tax delinquent up for auction. And the minimum bid for those properties is the amount of taxes and interest due. Um, and if a, a, a property does not get that minimum bid, it's deemed to be sold to the state of Alabama. So it's, um, it's as if the state of Alabama were there bidding and, and it's the winning bidder. And that property then goes on a list of delinquent properties owned by the state of Alabama. 